Hey, come on, come on, come on. Join me here, Bishop Wooden. I want to share something with you. First of all, God bless you. Hello. How you doing? It's Bible study time. Once more, we're going to come together and study the word of the Lord together at the upper room, Church of God in Christ. Now, the Bible says this. Listen to this. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Second Timothy chapter 2 and verse 15. Everybody knows the passage. Listen, my friends. The word study literally means be diligent. It means to make every effort, make maximum effort, be diligent, be zealous to know how to handle the word of God. Every preacher should put forth maximum, eff maximum effort to give a powerful presentation of God's word every time he or she ministers the word of the Lord and every believer, every minister, every hearer should put forth maximum effort and maximum concentration to hear and to understand the word of the Lord. Now he says here, but shun profane and vain babblings. Interesting, the profane babblings are actually profane. The word literally profane means worldly. Worldly doctrines, worldly things, worldly teachings, uh, babblings, are, uh, vain babblings are empty cheddar. Vain babblings and, and uh, these teachings are worldly teachings that pretend to be what they're not. It's any doctrine that contradicts opposes or stands in the way of the teachings of Christ. The Bible, my friends, this grand old book, I love it, don't you? Oh, this book, 66 books. The Bible is a library of 66 books written over a 1500 year time period by 44 different authors. It is the word of the Lord and it will bless your life real good. Now tonight we're having Bible study and I want you to come out and study the scriptures. We're going to avoid uh, the worldly teachings and, and vain babblings because all they do, the Bible says, is increase uh, unto more ungodliness. That is, they uh, cause evil to be compounded. And they spread like gangrene, like cancer. That is like a disease that spreads fast and is deadly. So, to keep our minds clear, to stay strong mentally, spiritually, to, to be able to think biblically centered thoughts, to stand on the word of God and not allow the media uh, music, entertainment, sports, you know, it's amazing all of the people now who are weighing in on issues that affect the way we live and the decisions that we make to keep the politicians and all of the others from pulling you from the word of God. Come to Bible study <laughs> and hear the word of God preached, hear the word of God taught with power and authority and you are going to be blessed and your mind will be protected. See you tonight here at the Upper Room, Church of God in Christ, where the word of God is preached and taught with power and authority. God bless.